Hello guys, welcome to Ride VIP, The Righteous Channel. My name is Serge and in today's video I would like to share with you guys a very strange thing uh, that just has happened to me. Um, I do not know why this even would be the case. Um, so I decided to work um, this, I guess, uh, Tuesday morning and i did some rides uh i have made um 70 dollars so it looks like i just got charged uh a little thing here um just went ahead and cashed out but apparently something has went wrong somewhere and my account is on hold which also could mean that i might be deactivated or i have been deactivated uh one thing um i could tell you for sure that i'm a platinum status driver this is what riders see uh as you can see i worked for 2.1 years um i mean to keep a rating at five stars for this long with this many rides i mean that's uh i mean i gotta tell you something right um I did not have any any problems or anything and and this is what I have so I'm deactivated for a safety concern that's what it says to help protect the lift community community uh, we monitor all feedback and safety reports uh, this includes passenger ratings and safety reports accidents and uh distracted or reckless driving uh low ratings with safety concerns can cause your account to be reviewed and lead to temporary or permanent deactivation uh certain violations of lift terms and service are considered safety concerns safety related violations are most often brought to our attention by passengers uh reports and include but are not limited to the following uh, bringing someone else with you while driving did not do that uh, citations such as uh, traffic tickets did not have that discriminations did not have that driving a vehicle that has uh, hasn't been approved that do not have that uh, refusing a service animal or mobility device did not have that someone else using your lift account do not have that unsafe unsafe vehicle conditions such as missing brake lights or crack windshield my windshield is fine uh all the lights are working fine uh so this says what happens next um once you've been deactivated uh someone from the appropriate team will contact you they'll discuss uh the reports concerns and ask questions to understand the specifics keep in mind in mind they can't discuss specific feedback from passengers or uh, override warnings after the review is complete you'll be notified whether your account deactivation is permanent uh, temporary account holds versus permanent deactivations um, and this says can I appeal my deactivation if you have uh, new information that wasn't documented in your deactivation report you can contact us below we'll escalate it to the appropriate team for review um yeah uh obviously yeah see like <laughs> oh my gosh it's uh weird but anyways um apparently this is what i'm going through guys let's see okay so this is another time I'm just gonna go ahead and read Temporary account holds versus permanent deactivation. We have specialized teams that review account um, holds in case by case basis. They help establish the facts around reports uh, to determine if the driver has violated terms of service. Temporary account holds. Once your account has been put on hold, a member of the safety team will contact you. So I had an email, I already responded to them, but the email was, was basically similar to this uh it did not tell me anything uh besides that i have one that's it it said some kind of safety thing uh they'll discuss the re 
reports concern and ask you questions and understand specifics. So it looks like this might be a phone call, um, but I did respond to the email, so we'll see what happens. And gets out of your story, will kindly request that you don't reach out for support before this because a sp specialist familiar with your case is already working on it. After, review, after the review is complete, you'll be notified regarding the outcome. Keep in mind that for privacy and safety reasons, they can't discuss specific feedback from passengers or override warning warnings. Permit deactivation. If you are deactivated, you will receive an email confirmation. You won't be able to sign up with a new account. You'll receive any remaining earnings in your next scheduled uh, direct deposit. Um, I don't know if I already read this or not, but wow, look at look at that. I am I'm kind 